So I guess this is gonna become a thing now. Hello, 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 this is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley D Reactions and I am here for another installment of Agassé Adventures episode number three and it's going to be my feelings on the lovely leader MJ Bomb. I did ask you guys on Twitter what you guys wanted me to do for this topic for this week because I wasn't sure and I kind of like getting input from you guys as to what I should do so I think once a month one of the topics is going to be a fan posted one and I will post it on the latest fan posted one so this one right now I will leave a link down below I think I'll leave like the poll open for like a whole week so that way you guys can vote on what the next free topic is going to be. Hopefully you guys will continue to enjoy this series, but right now I'm going to get into my feelings on MJ Bone. So, let's just start at the beginning. S start at the beginning. MJ Bone was born January 6, 1994, which makes him a Capricorn and it also makes him the year of the rooster. He is 179 centimeters tall, aka approximately 5'11", and he weighs roughly 66 kilos. He debuted initially with Park Jin Young back on May 19, 2012, and then officially debuted with GOT7 two years later. He is the chic and sexy of GOT7. He is the leader of GOT7. j loves Bart Simpson. He loves chicken. And even though so many people think that he's scary, I have never witnessed him being anything more than absolutely fluffy. Let me just take a moment and talk to you about my actual feelings about j -Bum because they're complicated, really complicated. So when I first started checking out stuff with GOT7, I, he caught my eye initially. I've now realized that, but he quickly fell to the wayside. Like I just kind of just started ignoring him. And then all of a sudden, one day, it was during dance practice, of course. Um, that's when j Bomb decided that he was going to start wrecking my life. And when I say wrecking my life, I mean he came in hard, fast, and has not left. There's just something about j Bum. It's I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the fact that he's extremely goofy. Maybe it's the fact that he's such a great leader. Maybe it's the fact that like he puts on this kind of look of like being like super, super tough. And while I do believe that he is tough, he really is just like this giant little like fluff ball thing that's just like why are you so cute and precious? Like, how is that possible? But the interesting thing really comes from the way that he decided to wreck me. Cause like I said, he came in hard, he came in fast, and he decided that he was going to come for my heart. And he has not stopped. I follow so many j Bum fan sites I have to hold myself back from buying fan site goods. And I just don't know what to do with j Bum because he just, he pops up and he just looks so cool or he looks so cute and my heart just melts. It just melts, it becomes putty. I can't watch him b-boy without freaking out. I can't listen to him sing, his voice is beautiful. And have you listened to his SoundCloud? The boy is, ugh, he's talented. He's extremely talented. And also, his style of music is exactly my type. Like, out of all of them, like the kind of music that he likes to listen to, that's the kind of music that I love. And he's rude, he's so rude. The fact that J-Bum would rather listen to some like baby making music then like listen to anything else. It, it says something about j Bob. Have you have you looked at the lyrics of the songs that he writes? Like, there's something deep in that boy. I just want to see it pulled out. Pulled out so we can see it unravel. j Bob is a mess. He's a mess and I love him. I don't know how it got this bad. I don't know how it is that I can't go a day by without downloading a picture of j Bob. 
It's true. I should, I should show you my phone. It, it's ridiculous. But at the end of the day, I mean, what really matters the most is that he's just such an amazing leader and I am so grateful for j Boom. Like, the fact that we have him as the leader of God 7 is just something that we should really be thankful for because things could have been so much messier because it's hard to control God 7. Have you seen the guys? They're a little bit wild. And then when you start to realize how you control them, it's that's how you, when you really start to get to understand and know God 7 because you realize that he's just as wacky as all of them. And he just tries to hold it in and keep it together and put on the strong face, but he's really just as weird as them all. But I really do need J-Bum to cool it because I need him to not come at my heart. Because every time I've met J-Bum, he has messed me up. Like the first time I met him, he smiled so big. When I complimented him, like the boy loves compliments. It's not even funny. Um, but he smiled so big, cause like he smiled big at first when I, when I first came up to him. But then I complimented him, told him I loved his voice because I do love his voice so much. But I said that to him and it, that smile just went even bigger. And I was just like, okay, j -Bum, I see you. Please slow your roll. I'm moving on to Mark now. <laughs> and then, but what really shocked me was the second encounter with him when I literally froze. I don't, I think I, I think I told you guys when I did my recap, um, Actually, that wasn't even the second time. The second that second time, I actually kind of went by so fast because Jackson had me so shook that I couldn't even I couldn't I couldn't think couldn't think. Um, but J Bum was really cute there. But that third time, it was the third time that I encountered J Bum where I literally broke. I broke. I froze. I didn't move. I didn't say anything. Then somebody made, made me realize that I had completely frozen and I like snapped out of it and told him I loved his SoundCloud stuff. And yeah, the man actually made me freeze. How often can you say that? Like he had that, he shook me that much that I did not move. I stood there dead still just staring him in the eyes. He looked so fluffy, but yeah. J Bomb is, he's a character. He's an interesting man, and I'm never gonna get sick of what he brings to the table. And there's some people that don't love J Bomb. I don't know how, but some people don't love J Bomb. But really, love the leader, love J Bomb, love this crazy man. Fight him if you need to, but love him. Love him. Because sometimes I feel the need that I need to fight him because he, he just, sometimes he's just a little bit too much and he needs to get knocked back in place. But I love J-Bum. And yeah, this one was a little bit shorter, but like I said, this one was just kind of just a free for all of just what you guys wanted me to talk about. And those are my feelings on MJ Bum, at least as they stand right now, today. But I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.